Over the weekend, U.S. President Donald Trump has announced the death of world's most wanted terrorist, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Many people across the globe see the death of the leader of the Islamic State while fleeing from U.S. Special Forces as a major victory in the fight against global terrorism. The first correspondent, Aldina Ingen, this report looks at the impact of al-Baghdadi's death on the Islamic State and other affiliated um, terrorist organizations. Relief could best capture the prevalent emotion around the world when the death of Osama bin Laden was announced by U.S. President Barack Obama in 2011. But his death did not spell the end of global terrorism. In fact, another step into his shoes, taking on a more brutal form. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi assumed the leadership of the dreaded terrorist organization Islamic State on the 16th May 2010. He was responsible for the deaths of thousands of people. Eight years later, in almost a similar fashion, al-Baghdadi has been pronounced dead by President Donald Trump in a similar covert operation. His victims dare to hope. And with Islamic State on the back foot having lost most of his declared caliphates, experts have been pondering what impact his death will have. The success by the U.S. Uh, government, as it were, and with the collaboration of other world countries that led to uh, the operation, and then, of course, uh, the death of um, al-Baghdadi, can be considered as probably one of the most phenomenal achievements uh, in the global com campaign against terrorism. An insurgency has ravaged Nigeria's northeast since it was launched in 2009. Since the insurgency started, Boko Haram has killed tens of thousands and displaced 2.3 million people from their homes. The Islamic fundamentalists swore allegiance to IS on the 7th of March 2015. One cannot help but wonder how the death of al-Baghdadi will affect the insurgents in northern Nigeria. With regards to uh, the Jamaat al al Dawati World Jihad, which is led by uh, Sheikhau, of course, he has already been estranged from the group. He has attempted not once, not twice, to bring himself back into the fold of the group. So you are likely to see that, that kind of back and forth between his, his own movement and the glo global IS. But in the long run, the impact is, is not likely to be much of the taking out of uh, al Baghdadi. What valuable lessons can the Nigerian military, who have been at the forefront of the battle against insurgency, draw from this? Any lesson is going to be learned by the Nigerian counterpart is this synergy of operations that um, together you can achieve a lot. If you do it alone, then you're likely to fail and witness it with, with, with abound. The war on terror is a global one. The death of al-Baghdadi may have won some political points for Donald Trump. However, looking at the larger picture, some hope is springing up that the activities of the most dreaded terrorist organization can be halted in their tracks. From Abuja, Aonduna Inge, STV News.